Before we get into this episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise in MLB The Show 16, we made a trade with the Oakland Athletics. We traded some of our outfield depth but for some infield depth in the minors, we traded Johnny Burnett for Richie Martin. We had a few too many outfielders and we didn't have any good infield prospects. So that is why we made this trade. It was actually proposed to us, but we are going to go through with it. We are taking on the Kansas City Royals in a rematch of the 2015 American League Championship Series where the Royals did beat the Blue Jays in six games. Blue Jays off to a 14-12 and 12 start. They started a little bit slow last year. The only time they've really been off to a good start is the first year when they set the MLB record all-time for wins. Young Gervis Solarte, he's been pretty hot lately, hitting 330 on the season, and he is going to lash one out into left field. Alex Gordon is going to throw it in, and he gets a double out of that. And that is going to bring up Jose Bautista. He would fly out and then Josh Donaldson, 2-2 two, two count, two outs, and he's going to lash that up the middle. And Young Garvis, he ain't very fast, but he is going to make this one home a little bit ahead of the throw. If it was about a half second earlier, probably would have been out. But Alex Gordon would come up in the bottom of the third, two outs, 2-2 two, two count, fouled off about 15 pitches this at bat, and that is going to be a single for him goes right up the middle and then another tough at bat Kyle Schwarber and he after fouling off a few pitches is going to take that one out two run shot for him into right center and that is going to put the Royals up two to one as the Blue Jays will have to strike back top four Dalton Pompey having a pretty good season in his really first full season in the majors and he absolutely crushes that one no doubt about it home run ties up the game and he did not take any time to respond at all he wanted that game to be tied back up and give the Blue Jays another chance Devin Travis comes up in the top of the seventh inning and nonchalantly going over to first base is Eric Hosmer well Devin Travis beats out the the, the tag I guess it'd be tagging the base and then a couple batters later, young Gervis Solarte is going to walk. And then Jose Bautista comes up with two on one, two count goes deep with it. And it is carrying and it is going to bounce off the wall. The right fielder jumped up against the wall, trying to field it. And that is going to end up as just a single. The runners had to stay in place because they did not know if it was going to be caught or not. Josh Donaldson now lit bases loaded one, one count and does not really do a whole lot but this is going to score the go ahead run so Devin Travis does make it home well ahead of the throw actually it was kind of close but I had to go to the relay man so and then, then Justin Smoke comes up runners on first and second and he lashes this one out to right center field that's going to drop and go for two so it puts a runner on third as well as Justin Smoke himself getting over to second and the Blue Jays now have a two run lead and the Royals elect to walk Kevin Pillar, not having the greatest of seasons, but it will give them the force at first base so they can try to get a double play out of it. But it's really hard to get a double play when the ball is not even hit into play as Seth Manis came in and he immediately walked Dalton Pompey, which drove in a run to put up Toronto 5-2. And then the next batter, Russell Martin, 3-2 count. What do you think is going to happen here? Oh, he walked. What a surprise. Toronto goes up 6-2, and that would pretty much do it for this game. We, it was non-save situation, so we had our lefties in as Aaron Loop got some action, as well as Brett Cecil, and he is going to force the fly out right there. Young Garibas Solarte fields it in left field, and that's going to do it. Jays come out on top 6-2. Solid day for Marcus Stroman. Really, the only mistake was that home run, and it was in a very tough at bat. Two very tough at bats back-to-back. He really should have gotten out of the third, only having to throw about 35 pitches, and I think he ended up in the 50s because of those two last at bats but that's gonna do it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for more toronto blue jays franchise in mlb the show 16.